We know that PARP inhibitors benefit patients with metastatic breast cancer who have a germline BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation. The BRCA genes are important for high-fidelity DNA repair, what we call homologous recombination. The problem is that only about 10% of women who have breast cancer from this inherited mutations in BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes. Aside from these two genes, there are other genes that are important for homologous recombination. And the question we're trying to answer here is, what about the woman with these other mutations? Specifically, what about women with somatic BRCA1 or 2 mutations or other homologous recombination genes? Would PARP inhibitors work for them? In this work, we leveraged the clinical genomic database from Flat Tire Health and Foundation Medicine and screened more than 6,000 women with metastatic breast cancer and identified 62 women with metastatic breast cancer and a mutation in a homologous recombination gene. In short, we compared the progression-free survival and the overall survival of this woman with metastatic breast cancer and germline BRCA mutations with patients with metastatic breast cancer and mutation in other HR genes that included somatic BRCA1 or 2 mutations or mutations germline or somatic in another homologous recombination genes. What we found in this cohort is that the patients with somatic BRCA mutations or another homologous recombination gene mutations did do just as well as patients with germline BRCA. So this is really exciting because it adds to the result of the TBCRC048 and indicates that potential benefit of PARP inhibitors for a larger number of patients.